All right, y'all, we are on the road and we're headed to New Mexico. Woo! We got our travel trailer hooked up to the F-350 and we're going to Albuquerque to pick up our new Black Series. Yeah, we're excited. Can't wait. So we've had this travel trailer since February. It's been about seven months. Uh, crazy story about that is we had to live in it. Our house flooded, got hit with a hailstorm. So rebuilding our entire house, we were in our backyard living in this travel trailer. Two days after we got back from our wedding. That's right. Yeah. So <laughs> September comes, through, comes around and we're on a hunting trip. We go bow hunting out in Colorado and ended up spending about two and a half weeks out there. Started doing some research after realizing, so this is our second RV that we've had. We had a Class C before this. Um, it's one of the ones that you can drive. It's got a Ford E450 chassis and had a great time with it, but we treated it like a four by four. Um, and then same with this one. We you know, were able to get to some places, set up a nice camp, but we like to get back and away from people. We like to get way off of any sort of paved road. And when we were on our drive back from this hunt trip, I was doing some research and decided, a lot. decided it's that like that. this travel trailer that we have now, its days are numbered. So came across a company called Black Series. They are a uh, travel trailer manufacturer out of Australia. About five or six years ago, they started bringing those travel trailers to the United States. And these things, they're amazing. They check off absolutely all the boxes that we want for the type of camping that we do, the type of trips that we do, hunting, from the suspension, big wheels and tires, ground clearance, uh, water capacity, which is huge. Um, say ultimately we just figured out we're overlanders yeah not RVers so but it's fun like what the RVs that we've had in the past have been really fun and we've learned what we don't want and then we've learned what we do want so this black series seems to fit everything on our list yeah I think it's safe to say that after what we've had already and then shopping for what you know ultimately ends up being this black series mm -hmm. we've found the RV that we're gonna have for the long run this sure. is one that we're really going to be able to get comfortable with and really go on all of our trips, all the places that we like to go. So where we're at now is driving through West Texas. We're going to get to Albuquerque tonight. Yeah, there's nothing in West Texas. Sucks. So we're going to get to Albuquerque tonight and tomorrow get up because uh, today's Sunday, so the dealership's closed. We're going to get there tomorrow and we're taking delivery of our new Black Series. Yeah. What's really exciting about that is Angel Fire, New Mexico is a short drive away. So what we decided to do is we have one of our dogs with us. We actually have four dogs, but it was not happening on this trip to bring all of them. So Angel Fire, New Mexico is getting some weather right now. It's snowing. It's going to snow today, tonight, tomorrow. Um, I think the high is like 36 degrees. The low is going to be 12. Can't wait. Our first break-in trip of getting the, the Black Series into the mountains is going to be really fun in Angel Fire. So, um, yeah, really excited to share that. Yeah. What's up, y'all? Today is the day we are pulling into the RV dealership right now. Woo! Um, it's delivery day for our Black Series. We're so excited. <laughs> In the 2022 HQ21, and our plan is we're gonna go in, swap these out. Oh, I see it. You see it over there? Where? It's back <gasps> there. there. It is. Um, nice. We're gonna drop ours. We're gonna go do some paperwork, and next thing y'all see from us is gonna be us with our new RV. Let's go get it. Alright y'all, we took delivery of our 2022 Black Series HQ21, left straight out of Albuquerque, made a quick stop at Target for some supplies, 
went up to Santa Fe. We're up in the state park now. Uh, it was a seven and a half mile drive up into the mountains. Started snowing on us halfway in. Um, you can see we got a nice little dusting already. Uh, Amy Jo's inside the RV. She's in there with Cabby. They're getting everything all set up. Uh, we got a really cool camp spot. It's going to be cold tonight. I think the low is somewhere in the teens. Way more snow coming. Really going to be able to break in this Black Series the right way for its first couple nights out. Uh, looking forward to updating you guys. Hey, y'all. So we just picked up our new Black Series HQ21 travel trailer. Uh, spent a couple nights in New Mexico with it and want to do a little walk around tour to talk about the features, everything that this offers as to why it was the perfect choice for Amy, Joe and I, for the type of camping we do or hunting trips, um, everything that the engineers put into this as to why it was ideal for us. So first off, starting at the front, this hitch right here, having the pickup truck, we carry a lot of our gear and equipment in the bed and our last travel trailer, you were not able to drop the tailgate down. It would stop about right there. We bring a generator with us. We bring multiple Yeti coolers and also our dogs. So we have a camper top shell that's getting painted right now. And the dogs travel back there to get them up and in was a huge hassle. So first off starting here, this was amazing for us in the way that we travel. It's got this articulating hitch. So the roads that we go down, uh, we get forest service roads, backcountry type stuff, and they're not paved. You're lucky if there's any gravel even to start. So when you're getting to washout areas or where the truck's gonna lean one way, you don't want the travel trailer following with it. So the way the Black Series designed this is perfect for us because it's not going to follow true to that. Um, you've got storage up front, propane. We spent a lot of our time back in the winter time, fall and winter when it's cold. So they put two propane tanks that are up front. And then you got more storage over here for jerry cans for fuel, water, or more propane, which is likely what we're gonna use. Coming around, this pass-through storage is ideal for us. It'll fit both of our bow cases in there all the way through. That means we don't have to keep our gear in the trailer or in the truck. It's freeing up all sorts of room there. You know, we do a ton of cooking. So all travel trailers, RVs, they're gonna have an interior kitchen. This exterior kitchen was huge for us. It's got a sink, it's got a three burner stove, and then a prep area so that you've got another table to work with. Mm -hmm. Again, huge for us because when we're out, we like to be outside. Going along with that, there's a prep table here. So this will fold down and give you plenty of working space so that we're not just using the side over here by the grill. Uh, we bring a Traeger Ranger with us too. It'll prop up there or it'll prop up over here. Um, suspension was another one that is amazing for us. We already talked about the articulating hitch. This is, uh, it's got four wheels on it, but there's no axles, there's no differentials. Each setup has its own two shocks and springs. So, ground clearance so that we can get back to the places that we want to get these overlanding travel trailers is really really what did it for us was being able to take it where we want to go a lot of other trailers just aren't built for that two full-size spares because where we get back and into you're not anywhere near a discount tire so it's pretty clutch and we've had blowouts before <laughs> A couple. Um, the back on the storage part. So we have uh, one of those hitch mount racks. This is a, 
um, a hitch mount where we're able to put that on there. So if we want to put our generator there or if we want to put our Yeti coolers there, again, keeping stuff out of the truck and out of the RV, but still being able to bring it with yeah. us. Like 500 pounds weight yeah, capacity? Yeah, pound capacity. So pretty much anything that we would be able to put on there that it'll fit, it'll handle it. The water capacity was at the top of our list for what we needed. Our last travel trailer had like 45 gallons of onboard water. Um, this setup is amazing. It's got 64 gallons of your general water for sinks, showers, um, you know, use it for the toilet as well. But then it also has another 12 gallons dedicated just for drinking water. So it's got a triple filter system. We're not going to run out of water wherever we go. And we don't have to bring water bottles, which exactly. is huge too, because yeah, we used again, to bring a lot. Back to the storage side, we would fill up our Yetis with all the water that we were mm -hmm. gonna be drinking. Now, 12 gallons in there, and the filter system, you can legitimately put lake water into it. Mm -hmm. Filters it down to one micron, so nothing for us to worry about there. That's huge. Outdoor shower, <laughs> kind of just speaks for itself. Whether you're in the mountains or at the beach, you're gonna be getting dirty. You can clean off yourself, clean off your gear, um, or the dogs. Yeah, so that, or our game meat. We use it for game meat a lot too. So cleaning that off. Yeah, we process our own stuff this year um, and obviously will in the future. So being able to do everything at camp, not having to run into town, another huge bonus for yeah. us. Then the bumper bars too is nice going up those mountain roads. Yeah, extra peace of mind and protection for the rig you know there's boulders places there's trees no matter how good you are with a trailer having this there as that extra bit of insurance was huge mm -hmm. um this right here i think is one of amy joe's favorite features is an instant hot water <laughs> heater yes so, it is <laughs> we both took showers last night i was really impressed with how hot it was it was really hot was super comfortable yeah so to know that you can just flip the switch on there, turn that all the way up to like 130 degrees yeah. and have a really comfortable shower no matter where you're at. Yeah. Uh, the last one that we love, all the way around, there's these LED light bars. Uh, two on the passenger side, one on this side, and then one on the front and rear. Uh, the rear is so powerful. Fill your camp up yeah. with light, whether you're coming in late or doing something after the sun goes down. That was huge huge um, we got to test those out last night so all in all our first weekend with this thing we're absolutely loving it um, we haven't even scratched the surface as to yeah. what it's able to do uh, the places that we're going to take it to this fall winter really just going to prep it for our uh, our hunt season next next year what's your favorite thing about the outside the ground clearance and the suspension, knowing that we can take it anywhere that we want to, because this is our third RV. We had a class C, which is like a drivable one. And then we had another travel trailer. They were not built for the places that we took them. I'm glad that they survived it, but you know, we'd get to roads and be like, oh, I don't think this is gonna happen. Yeah. With this, especially with the length of it, it's 26 feet. So it's significantly shorter. Um, we can take it anywhere. There's not going to be a road that makes me think, oh, shoot, we got to back out. We yeah. can't go down this. Yeah, that's huge. What about you? What's your favorite? Uh, the windows. I think this is a, a lady thing, but brightness in the RV is huge. So this was why we picked this model, actually. So there's two big windows on either side of the bedroom. So on this side and the other side. All of the windows open up completely too. So it's not just a slide up where you have a halfway one. These completely open up. Then they have a bug screen on them as well as a full shade. So it's really cool the design that they did. So there's two in the bedroom. There's two sunroofs. There's one in the bedroom and one in the living room. And then we'll do an inside video later. But these three windows right here. Are, what's it called? It's so a, a U-shaped dinette. It's a U-shaped dinette here, but it's it's huge. And there's windows there. This middle window is right over the kitchen sink, which is huge. There's a window in the bathroom, which is so big. And then again, the other side of the bedroom here. So this thing naturally lit up is just, it's so bright. And because a lot of RVs, they don't have big windows and it feels just kind of dark. 
Um, but this one gives so much light. So I would say that's my favorite part of the exterior. Yeah. Well, we're absolutely loving it already. It's only our first weekend with it. So again, looking forward to doing an interior video that Amy Joe's gonna be running through for you guys on that one. <laughs> yeah.